get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, I'm doing pretty good, let's say. Um, my, my left hip pelvic area is still aggravated, so there's been no bike riding, no walking. I'm not doing push-ups. I ain't doing nothing. I'm trying to stay seated as much as possible and just chill and relax and all that stuff. So it's not a matter of being lazy. It's a matter of things are not wanting to heal up. I went to the chiropractor yesterday. I don't even know what day. Maybe Tuesday. I don't know. I'm lost. My my days go by so quick. I went to the chiropractor and he thinks it might be my pelvis. Well, I don't know. Unfortunately, my chiropractor just kind of does the bare minimal. Click, 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 and you're done. He's not one of those experimenting doing different kind of things really digging deep into your soul kind of chiropractors so uh anyway it is what it is i'm trying to just heal up so I'm trying to think of something to do for a video bike related well here we are i got my bike in my room my bike in the room that's right today we're just going to do some simple Tightening of some bolts. Tightening of bolts, guys. Got my little tools here, my little multi tool dealios. They're not ideal, they're not perfect for the situation. If you can afford a better, you know, hex key or Allen key or whatever, I would say go for it. These are okay for some things, but. Other things they're they don't work as well for because they don't reach, you know, the bolt, you know, the, the Allen, the key, whatever, only lets you reach so far. And then when you're turning, sometimes the other side catches on something. So they're not ideal. They work in a pinch and well, that's all I got really. So uh, maybe one day I'll get some some real tools. We'll see. So, I think we're just going to make some adjustments on some bolts. Just make sure they're tightened up a little bit. and Maybe have some discussion along the way. We'll see. So, oh, I don't even know if this is the one I need. I'll make a wild guess. There we go. That'll work. So, How's everyone's day been so far? You been alright? Everything good? Everything's pretty good here. You know, could be better. I got verbally attacked this afternoon on my school bus on one of my drop-offs. One of the parents, I'll put that in quotation, air quotations, because I don't know how much of a parent they are, but when you got young kids, you're supposed to be out there to pick them up. And he wasn't out there to pick them up. And I was fixing to pull away. And I, I, if that's the case, then you take the kids back to the school. And then the parents or whoever has to come get them. So I was about to pull away from the stop. And I see the trailer door sling open. And this little squirrely guy come running out. And swinging his arms. And yelling at me and everything. And so that was kind of my afternoon. Kind of how that went. I just let him know that, you know, gotta go by the rules. You know, we can't just bend the rules for people. So, anyway, that's the way it goes. Be a parent. If you're going to have kids, be a parent. Not a parent. Not a parent. A parent. Be a parent. Alright. Just kind of making sure the bolts are 
tightened up. Nothing major. Nothing super major here, guys. We're just checking things out. Checking out all the things. Making sure making sure there's no cracks. Definitely don't want to have handlebars fail or or a stem. You don't want them to fail. <laughs> that could be catastrophic. Catastrophic, catastrophic. Strophic, strophonophilus, capopolis. Yeah, it could be a problem, guys. So, oh man. Again, we're not doing anything major. I'm just making sure things are kind of not loose, you know, rattling around or anything. Always good to do. One of these days I need to get some new brake pads. These are going on five years old and could probably really use some new ones. You know, they don't last forever. They last longer than the old rim brake things, that's for sure. That's for certain, guys. So let's see. I need a flashlight. I got a flashlight on my handlebars. So we need a Torx. We need a Twix. A Twix. We need a Twix candy bar. I think these are probably pretty good. They don't usually come loose. And you don't want to try to over tighten or do anything crazy. Just kind of making sure they're good. Yeah, nothing loose there. Let's check these. What kind of is that? That looks like a torch. Yeah. Okay. Again, just barely doing anything to it. You know. Just extremely very basic maintenance. Just kind of check over all your bolts and things. Uh, things can always come a little loose. Kind of tap on your frame and different parts, you know, and listen for maybe if it sounds weird because that can detect a crack. Um, don't do that to your butt, though. There'll be a crack there. <laughs> uh, oh, that's bad. <sighs> bad joke, Mike. Bad. All right, let's go back here to the rear. I'll get some new brake pads. And these brakes have really done well. I mean, like I said, it, it, uh, in February, it'll be five years that I've been riding. I've not changed a brake pad or anything. I suppose the rotors are still good. Um, everything looks pretty decent. So, yeah. You don't really have to put much effort into it. You don't want to overdo anything. Just want to be there just in case. Oh, I like that. This 
This one here was loose. That was a smidgen loose. And that's why we check, because you never know. One of them could be loose. And there was one that was pretty loose, and then the one that was a tiny bit loose. So good deal. Check for any clay. Now my bike could use a good washing, but I don't hardly do that too often uh, because, believe it or not, out of everything I do in my day, uh, washing a bike kills my back more than anything. So if I had a way to get a bike up here, up high, <laughs> you know, then I might could wash it, but uh, down low like that, it just absolutely destroys my back. So. Oh man. So let's go and look on the other side. <laughs> Again, you don't want to do nothing crazy. And things like the derailleur, you don't want to mess around too much. to mess with here all right really it's just basic stuff guys nothing too complicated having this trainer helps out a little bit pretty nice Uh, if you recall, a few months ago, uh, whenever I got this whole new system, this whole new drivetrain and everything, uh, it was replacing one that I just put on. It all just, it just went to crap. It didn't, it just wasn't doing right. So I went to another bike shop and they hooked me up with this Advent uh, system here. And so far it's been good. Um, I've only had to adjust the barrel adjuster. Like, where am I at? Right there. I only had to adjust the barrel adjuster like once since I've had it. Um, just to make sure, just to get it, uh, the gears indexed back to perfect. And it, it does good. It's It's been a solid system. I'd recommend... And you recall I also got the new wheel. 
uh, the WT, uh, WTB wheel and it's still it's still true it's doing good that's the the number on it so yeah nothing too extensive today nothing too amazing just doing what we do keep our rides as safe as we can and I'll check my tire pressure and see how I think about that and I may have to fill that up so oh, didn't have to put any air in the tires tires are fine I don't have a tire I don't have an air gauge or anything I just I do the old pressure is it okay yeah so that's how I do it so anyways guys I just wanted to go over a few of the little bolts and things here and there just to make a video and give you guys something to to watch uh, I'm not gonna let my little incident this afternoon ruin the rest of my day not my fault that that guy's a horrible parent can't be there for his kid not my fault right so anyway she's ready to go still she's been uh, a good bike for me again I bought it in January February 11th 2016 so we're coming up on five years that I've been riding my actual first ride that I took on it was on February 13th yes I keep up with that stuff uh, it's been a good bike it's uh, unorthodox it's not your typical bike that you see roadies or anyone like that out there riding around on all, all the time you know you might you might see people switching out once in a while like once every six months or something just to do something different most people don't use a bike like this for their everyday go out there and ride kind of bike but I do it's 27.5 single speed you know it is what it is two inch tires uh, the furthest I've ridden this bike is probably, I believe it was about 51 miles, maybe 52 miles. Um, I have done a couple of 40 mile rides on it, at least a couple. Um, so it's a good bike, you know. I've taken it all around town, through town, out on back roads, on side roads, off curbs, off little drops or little something you know about yay high maybe maybe 15 inches or so at the most that I've dropped and I'm a big guy it's handled me I uh, couldn't ask for a better bike I was excited when I bought it when I ordered it and I bought it and I went and picked it up at the bike shop and I'm still excited I still get excited thinking about it and looking at it and you know uh, me and this bike have been through a lot uh, if you ride bikes or motorcycles or anything like that, you know, uh, even your cars, uh, you get kind of an attachment to them sometimes. And that's how I am with this. Um, this will be my forever bike as long as it holds up. Nothing major happens. Uh, it's my forever bike, guys. My Raleigh Redux 1 2016. Um, yeah. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Just catching up in my little rant about my issue today at work and, and all that so <laughs> we all have problems but uh, I don't like bad parents and I rate rude crazy over the top people don't like them anyway I'm not gonna let that ruin my day like I said guys we'll see you later like share subscribe comment all that good stuff push my videos out there in YouTube world in the world in general uh, decent channel I believe wholesome there's no cussing there's no nudity and lewd rude nasty stuff decent family channel even though I have it checked for not made for kids it's made for everyone even whenever I get into more touchy topics and and, and stuff like that I still uh, try to keep it decent so anyway guys get up get up get ready do it to it even we're just doing a little bit of routine tightening and maintenance on the old bike. We'll see you guys later. Now go ride your bike.
Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!